What is up guys this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen YouTube channel a lot of guys are using Redmi Note 8 and Android 11 custom rooms are available now and this one is Arrow OS official build which I've installed on my Redmi Note 8 and yes it has just beaten the CAF room with Moonbase kernel I installed that room made a review at that you get 10 hour plus battery which is 10 hour plus screen on time and in this build in Arrow OS latest Android version 11 official build you'll get more than that maybe more than 11 hours this is great I was getting on time for that and the room is quite good in the terms of performance maybe it can beat your CF base room also how's the performance how's the battery backup in this video I'm gonna share with you those now make sure watch this video till the end let's get started Guys, this is the Arrow OS official Android version 11 for Redmi Note 8 users with the latest 5th of November 2020 security patch. Arrow OS official version is already available for a lot of devices. If you're using any other devices, the link for all of the devices, supported devices is in the description. I also installed this Arrow OS on my Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is Cortana, and that was working fine with a cool kind of performance and battery backup and like that. Same kind of thing with Redmi Note 8 also. Performance is up to the mark, very smooth room almost everything seems to be working or uh, daily life things are working fine here and didn't got any major bugs as I previously told you has all the main features you can see Google feed option is available here does not come with the Google apps pre-installed for some devices for some devices it has and for Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 9 Pro and some other devices too it has both of the builds available if you love to use the Google apps build you can use that one if you love to choose the vanilla build which is without Google apps you can choose that one also Home settings which does not come with the Pixel launcher even if you use the G apps build but still comes with the quick step launcher comes with some a little bit of customizations as you can see show Google apps show search bar also come with the hidden and protected apps thing notification gesture double tap gesture suggestions and also come with some developer options also if you have some knowledge you can choose these kind of things some things are available in this arrow OS. arrow OS, this does not come with actually many customizations some little bit of customizations options are available even redmi note 8 and redmi note 9 pro which is katana both of the devices official room has the google camera go option available google camera go is pre-installed you can use other gcam also if you want like google camera 7.3 7.4 and if even google camera 8.0 is compatible for you you can try that one but google camera 7.3 and 7.4 especially by parrot are working fine here or even you can use the gcam greatness build i have a video for that make sure to check out that and if you want to check out gcam for your device we have the gcam downloader also i have a video on that one too i'll try to provide the link in the description also in the card section you can go and check it out now let's take a look at some things things which you get here first of all the main thing which I just try to show you is the battery backup look at this battery backup screen usage since full charge 7 hours and 17 minutes which means more than 7 hours of screen on time with still 35% of battery left it will definitely pass more than 11 hours for sure because I just uh, I just turned off my charge again 97 percent so honestly you can say 62 percent gone with more than seven hours of screen on time I'm not saying I'm a hardcore gamer uh, I didn't tried any gaming yet honestly but without gaming even if you get more than 11 hours of screen on time on a 4000 mAh battery is honestly great also this is Android version 11 so the latest Android version is here so if you are looking for interesting things the latest Android version with cool kind of battery backup and also the performance the performance is quite good and yes it's it's better than the CF room in my opinions I'm not sure about you but in my opinions it's better than that quick settings has some little bit of things options available you cannot customize the rows unfortunately and there's a settings options available sorry there is an option of choosing the rows I was just miss and I just misunderstood with the other custom rooms we have the columns rows and this is a something new interesting kind of menu which is not available in all the rooms has some two three things of customizations which are available here too but has the this tiles options available if you want to switch on or switch off the tiles brightness icon if you want to enable or disable all these things are depends upon you we also have the option of choosing these things to three to uh, three to eight approximately you can choose these columns to three to eight if you want to choose them you can choose that one it all depends upon you even you can choose the landscape or you can choose the quick settings these are the things you get here 
this is on portrait this is on landscape but this is only for columns yes there is no option of choosing the rows we have this quick settings main quick settings this is your landscape this is your portrait but no option of customizing the rows unfortunately which was expected but okay that's not a big kind of thing a lot of guys don't use these kind of things like either me i don't use them but the thing is quite smooth room with a cool kind of battery backup talking about some features if you get here no extra features but a little bit of things available if you go for the network and internet we have the traffic indicators options available if you want to enable them you can simply enable battery already shown you display has some little bit of things which include the weather and status bar items but doesn't include many features if you go for the display, if you go for the styles and wallpapers, we have the styles and wallpapers options available. You can see by default it said green color and different fonts. And I've applied the OnePlus fonts with the pixel blue color because I love to choose pixel blue colors. That's why I've applied that one. Custom has some little bit of things. OnePlus Slate fonts are available. If you want to try out some fonts, you can simply enable them. Other things seems to be same. Privacy location. Security does not include the face lock, does not include the app lock. This is kind of uh, on a kind of little bit of disappointment for you, but for some it, it is not a big issue. Buttons also have a little bit of things, advanced restart and power menu actions, but nothing else like that. Gestures at the swipe to screenshot, that's working fine here. And system navigation where you can enable these kind of things also has the option of hiding that gesture bar lens so that you will not see that spacer behind the keyboard. Just go here and you'll see no spacer behind the keyboard. I have not applied that module. Also, I just forgot one thing to show you talking about the safety net status. Safeness status is passed i'll be able to use the banking apps i'm using banking apps and i didn't got any issues i'm using the latest magic switch uh, the latest magic modded version for my redmi note 8 you can if you want to install magic 21.1 you need to do some little bit of things by installing magic 21 from here but other things seems to be same all these things i just want to share with you are here i just want to let you know about this battery backup and performance which is working fine this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video if if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching goodbye